All right, so I've gotten a number of questions about what is the quickest, easiest way to upgrade a boat to be super comfy without all of the bolting, unbolting, yada, yada. Well, this is it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a badass outfitting system from a liquid logic boat and install it into, in this case, another logic boat, but you'll see it can be literally any boat. There's some drilling involved, but it's really not bad as long as you have control and you go slow. So let's take a look. So here's our boat. It is a session, very basic seat. Now over here, what I have is the back band from a boat with badass and the actual cover. So yeah, once you take it out, it really doesn't look like much. All it really is, is a special layered fabric. And you'll notice that there are holes in it. Now, this has clearly already been removed from the donor boat where the seat was completely destroyed by a pin. And what's holding it in are these automotive clips. So what I did is I just reached under with a razor blade and cut them through on the bottom, starting at the front corner and working my way all the way back. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay this cover into the seat and I am going to untie this bungee which goes around the back. I'm gonna re-thread it around the back and then rather than doing this knot, which I mean you certainly could do, what I'm gonna try and do is grab one of these guys and I am just going to thread it on there and tighten it. It's honestly going to be faster. It will give me some adjustment in the future. If it doesn't work, just, I'll just tie a knot. So I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I can start drilling all this in. All right. So now things are starting to take shape. Everything is sort of pinned up roughly where it's supposed to be. And because of that, all of these holes in the bottom are laid out where they should actually be. So take a second. Make sure you wiggle everything so it's sitting properly. And then you are going to go straight through slowly and lightly and just pop the first layer. You have an inch or two of space there. So if you pop through the top and you're going light, you will not slam through and go through the hull of the boat. But if you're being an absolute caveman, yes, you could pop a hole in your boat doing this. So let's show you how this goes. Straight in, that's it, very light. This seat is very thin, so it's gonna be super easy to punch that hole in. So as soon as you get one drilled, go ahead and stick one of these connectors in. I went down to the local auto parts store and for 12 of these, it cost me about 20 bucks. So screw that, I'll give you a link below to get these for much cheaper. Well, I might need a slightly bigger drill bit. Okay, so I stepped up to a one quarter inch drill bit. That is definitely the magic trick. So one, two, three, four are in. That is pinning the bottom of the seat. Now I'm gonna push down, go one, two, three, four, and then we'll come to the front and do the fronts absolutely last. The seat pad is now fully installed. If you have any issues getting in there, don't be afraid to use an implement of persuasion. A good whack will put it all the way down to the bottom. By the same token, sometimes you hear people say, oh, these little dots, they're, they're digging in my butt. Well, just knock it down. Moving forward, what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting these attached because they're floppy, right? And we're going to deal with this. So let's start with the back band first. All I'm going to do, hopefully, is rip this out and put in the original one. If you needed to do some sort of hybrid deal, you could, in the same way that I'm going to install the Velcro pads here, install Velcro pads to the back of this, and then use the Velcro here on the back. But if you did, uh, just remember to loop this through here. So, quick tip, but Let's put it back to stock since I have the right parts. The badass back band is now in. Super simple swap. The only thing I'm noticing is that this bend is getting really tight and it's binding right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a torch and just lightly heat both of these areas and allow the seat to bend a little bit. If you're unsure about whether this is right side up or upside down, 
look for the Velcro right here. That Velcro needs to correspond like that. So if it's not there, you have it in upside down. Okay, so final step, what we're gonna do is install these. These came from the original boat and all they are is a piece of plastic with Velcro on them. Yes, you could do like stick Velcro, but I assure you it wouldn't last. Yes, you could not do this, but I assure you every time you get in, these will flop down. So worth the install, just drill two holes and put a pop rivets in. What you may find is that it wants to hop up in the middle. If you want, you could also put a pop rivet down the center. I'm gonna wait on that. But now we are done. I almost forgot something. What if you wanted to use those awesome Logic hip pad system with all the Velcro? Well, in the same way that you installed these guys, these go back here. So pull down, drill in and install. Maybe do that first actually, but yeah. One, two, and then that whole system will go right in. Super simple, rivet in. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I am stoked to go paddle that boat. All the parts and tools and jazz that you need are located in a link to an Amazon shopping list below. Do me a favor and use that. A couple cents go to me and I'll see you on the next one.